One could suggest that Luke is, of all the gospel writers, the feminist of the first century. Not only does he tell the story of the birth of Jesus from the perspective of a woman, Mary treasured these things and pondered them in her heart, but Luke often places a woman in a parallel story to one which features a male. So we have not just Simeon, but also the prophetess Anna, who recognises the Christ child in the temple. We have the woman who lost one of her coins to parallel the shepherd who lost one of his sheep, or the widow who lost her son, placed beside the centurion who fears for the life of his servant. Today's gospel, which tells of the widow who cannot get justice from a judge, but wears him down with her persistence, finds its parallel in the story of the friend who comes at midnight looking for food to share with an unexpected visitor. It's all about persistence. Prayer is not like lining up at McDonald's drive through where you shout out your order to the speaker and drive to the next window to collect the goodies. It's far deeper than that. I can remember once meeting with Peter Gagan, who had a lot to do with adult education in this archdiocese for many years, where he announced that he had discovered during the previous week that God had a fifth way of answering prayer. Peter at the time was in a serious battle with cancer, so I knew his revelation wouldn't be frivolous. So intrigued, I asked, great, but tell me what were the first four ways God answers prayer? To which Peter replied, well, sometimes God says yes, sometimes God says no, sometimes God says maybe, and sometimes God says not yet. I couldn't argue with that, so I then asked, so what's this fifth way that God answers our prayers that you discovered during this week? To which Peter replied, I discovered this week that God sometimes says, try it this way instead. Prayer is not a desperate cry for help because we need something, but it's rather a mature dialogue between two people who care for each other and want to support each other when things are going well, but particularly when things are going bad. That's why listening is as important in prayer as is talking. So are you a person of prayer or do you just occasionally use a drive-through?